Today's video was requested by one of my viewers uh, recently. Uh, I originally wanted to do this video a little later because I have others that's waiting to be uploaded. But anyway, uh, today I'll be showing you my Mortal Kombat games collection. Now, I don't have all of them, especially the latest one being Mortal Kombat 1. But I do have the three previous ones, starting with Mortal Kombat 9 Tournament Edition. Yes, it's not the Collector's Edition, but this, I think, is worth more than the Collector's Edition. That came with, uh, I believe it came with a statue of Scorpion uh, and Sub-Zero. I, I can't remember. But anyway, yeah, this is the Tournament Edition. Uh, so, I bought this game back in, well, I bought this back in 2011 when it first came out. Uh, and I, ca I, I cannot remember whether it came with a box or not, but, but here it is. Right, um, but anyway, yeah, Mortal Kombat, uh, oh man, it's, it's one of my, f my favorite fighting games uh, from, from the 90s. Uh, you know, the other ones being King of Fighters, um, you know, Street Fighter, uh, Fatal Fury, Art of Fighting, all that. But Mortal Kombat is it. I've played from, I've played, ev I'm pretty sure I've played every single Mortal Kombat game, including um, that spin-off with uh, Jax and Sonya, what's it called? Uh, Mortal Kombat. Special Forces, if I'm not mistaken. I've, I've even, yeah, I've even played that. Uh, but, yeah, I, I loved it. Uh, from the first one. So I actually, I actually played the third Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat 3 was my first game. And, yeah, I was instantly hooked. You know, from performing the fatalities, the, um, uh, the, the animalities, the, and, and all that. It's, it's just, it's great. It's, um, yeah, I've never seen anything like it before. And, that, uh, that left a, a, a lasting impression on me, and I still love it till this day. Um, it's just that, yeah, the, the, the reason why I haven't bought Mortal Kombat 1, the latest one, is because games nowadays, well, it's been happening for quite a while, but you buy, you buy the base game, and it feels, it feels incomplete, because you still have to buy extra characters, and new characters get added, and and whatnot. So at the end of it, you you end up paying twice as much. I well, at least for me, that's all the way I, I see it. So it's um yeah, it's just different. You know, back then, you know, the games are you know you you get you get extra characters by unlocking them in game by you know beating the game with a certain characters, or you you know you use uh, in game currency that you get from from fighting and whatnot. You know, but yeah, I, I haven't yeah like I said, I haven't bought more Kombat one, but. Who knows, if, um, if it goes down in price and once every single character gets unlocked or gets added, then I might buy it in the future. But at the moment, I'm going to stick with, uh, with, more, with, with what I have, right? Um, and the latest before that being Mortal Kombat 11, which is uh, so far my absolute favorite game. Uh, anyway, going back to this one. So this is, um, yeah, this is Mortal Kombat 9, okay? Tournament edition. Uh, so here it is. This is the arcade thing. Now I do apologize. The um, it, this is uh, it's also it's a bit dusty uh, and there's um, there's quite a bit of uh, you know fingerprints all over the place. But yeah, just and then it is it is quite heavy, right? And just let's talk about this um, tournament uh, arcade stick. So the tournament arcade stick. This is yeah, like I said, this is heavy. It's made from wood, uh, like solid wood, not. Not um, MDF. I don't think it's MDF anyway. Um, it's got um, yeah. It's got a it's got a velvet base as you can see here. Oh man, this is heavy. Uh, can, you, can you see the velvet base in here? Like if I if I do. Oh man, the lights lighting is not that great. Anyway. Um, uh, yeah, there it is. It's velvet velvet, right? So it feels nice, especially when you have to put this on your lap and you're playing, you know, a fighting game and, you, and you're going for a couple of hours or whatnot. It's um, it feels it it's soft. The bottom is soft, as you can see there, right? It, it yeah. Um, and what else did I say? Oh yeah, the uh, the the arcade this arcade stick itself, as you can see, this has the American style joystick, uh, which is uh, the the bat style joystick, if I'm not mistaken again, which is different to um the the Japanese style joystick, which is uh, the lollipop style. Okay. Uh, I I don't mind. I can do both. I I, I love both actually. Uh, but this one feels nice. It's um, uh, it's uh, it, it's got a it's it's a solid feel to it. Yeah. Uh, here, listen to this. Hopefully you can hear that. Um, and as you can see, also the buttons, they are concave 
instead of um, convex. So again, I'm going to have to get closer. There it is. You can see the buttons are concave. Now, also, it, it has an unusual layout. And that's because I, again, this is from, from, from what I can see with my own two eyes. It uses the Mortal Kombat 3 layout. Uh, so this is the more, as far as I know, this is the Mortal Kombat 3 layout. And I'll show you, um, I'll tell you which ones, what buttons does what. That will be low punch, that is high punch, low kick, high kick, this is block, and this is run. All right, um, so yeah, those are, um, yeah, like I said, as far as I can remember, and as far as I know, this is the Mortal Kombat 3 button layout. And I, I love it because most arcades, they either have four buttons or, you know, six buttons across, uh, three buttons on top, three buttons down here or four buttons, or even the old uh, Neo Geo buttons, which goes, you know, in a, not a line, but in a, just, you know, just like that sort of um, layout. So this is, um, yeah, this is way different. And um, yeah, and the buttons, they also, they feel nice. It, it it's, uh, as far as I can tell, it, it feels similar to the arcade, the actual arcade machine, but like the, the buttons. And obviously, you know, this is the, yeah, the, the PS3 version, so you've got L2 here, R1 here, you've got the um, PS button uh, on the middle here, select and start, yeah? Okay, uh, what else can I uh, show you here? Ah, okay, so if I take a closer look in here, that is the latch, and that's where you open it. Okay, and I'll show you what it's inside, but before that, let's take a look at the, um, the back. Uh, this uses a mini USB connection. Right in here, okay, and uh, yeah. So let's open this up. Man, this is heavy. Let me tell you. So to open this up, what you need to do is you need to slide this latch here to the right. So you do that, and then you lift up the top, and there it is. Okay, that is the inside. Now, um, before we get to that, let me show you what else you get inside of here. Okay, so you get. A, a 10 feet uh, mini USB cable as you can see here uh, there we are all right and you also get the game itself in here so this acts as a, uh, a I guess a storage now you can't really store too many games because of the thickness of, of this as you can see there there's quite a bit of a thickness to that so you can store yeah I guess you can store this game and the and the USB um, cable uh, or two games if you didn't have the USB cable uh, anywhere or if, you, if the USB cable is attached to the console. So anyway, there it is, Mortal Kombat. Now this is, yeah, unofficially it is Mortal Kombat 9. It also does 3D. Now I've played this game in 3D and I, yeah, I, I couldn't, I couldn't play the whole game in 3D, believe me. It, uh, I, I got nauseous just, um, just by playing it. Uh, I, ac I also accidentally ripped the bottom edge, which is um, my fault entirely, so yeah, I take full blame. But uh, yeah, there's the there's the back of it. In case you're wondering, right? This is the uh, yeah. It's got uh, King of the Hill, Brutal Combat, love it. Tag Team Mode, yeah, and all on all of that. And uh, you can also play as Kratos here, as you can see. There it is, young Kratos, not the old Kratos. Uh, but inside, if we open this up, uh, there it is. There's a PS3 disc, and you get a couple of things in here. Uh, the first thing that you get is the booklet. So the booklet here, um, let me see here, uh, if we open it up, it's, it's a thin booklet, there we are, and it just shows you, you know, the usual stuff and uh, table of contents, um, getting started, PS Network, online combat and all that, and that, that's pretty much it really, it's, uh, it's sad, but um, yeah, it's a, it could have been, uh, it could have been similar to the Street Fighter booklet, um, but which which uh, which I'm pretty sure contains yeah all of the all the moves for all the characters but um, yeah, there it is and there's also this flyer for um, songs inspired by the warriors okay it's a it's, yeah it's a it's a music CD and then you also get this this is the combat pass uh, to access online features and the code is printed on on the back obviously okay. Uh, so yeah, so that's the game, and let, now let's take a look at this uh, closely. So, oh man, this is going to be a workout for me. There we go. And let's take a closer look at that. There it is on the bottom there. Uh, it says manufactured by PDP, which is Performance Design Products, pdp.com. Uh, this is the Mortal Kombat 5 stick, and uh, there it is. There's the inner workings, oops, sorry, inner workings of the um, uh, the arcade stick. It's, it's beautifully done. It's nice. It's... Um, 
it's not, uh, you know, there's no, the, the cable management is pretty good, I would say. You know, there it is. And, uh, yeah, there we are. And there's also uh, what I think is a laser etched Mortal Kombat logo. I don't know, yeah, hopefully you can see that. There, there it is. Um, yeah, and, and the latch and everything, it's, um, it's awesome. It's, it's got gold-plated um, latch, gold-plated hinges, and, and, and everything. It's, it's, it's very nicely done. Um, but yeah, look, there, there it is. There is my Mortal Kombat 9. Oh, and it locks in place as well. There we go. My Mortal Kombat 9 Tournament Edition uh, joystick. Now, I, I can't remember. I haven't done my research because this, this is done um, uh, in a rush. Uh, this wasn't one of those impromptu um, videos. But um, I'm... I'm sh I'm about 80%, maybe even less, 70% sure that there are mods out there that allow you to use this joystick for the um, uh, the newer Mortal Kombat's. But you got to do you know you got to do a lot of um, soldering and whatnot. And I've also seen this arcade stick having the same uh, color schemes and you know and button uh, you know button names. As more, the old Mortal Kombat 3, so you know this will be uh, f um, flip, uh, jump, or move forward, backwards, uh, duck. This one's called um, low, low punch, high punch, uh, low kick, high kick, and you know this one's got, it has block and this one has run written on, on it. Um, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm sure of it. Uh, but yeah, anyway, there it is Mortal Kombat 9. Uh, tournament edition uh, arcade stick. The next collector's edition I have is Mortal Kombat X or Mortal Kombat 10, MKX, whatever you want to call it. And here it is. This is the collector's edition. Uh, so let's take a look at um, around. So this comes with a sleeve, as you can see. Oop, there it is, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the sleeve off and I'll show you that and I'll show you the box. Yeah. So to take the sleeve off, all you got to do is just you know, pull this up. And there it is, there is the sleeve, there is the um, one side, uh, there's the other side. It just basically shows you Scorpion. So if you cut the sleeve open um, and lay it out flat, you'll see, um, you know, uh, uh, the bust of, uh, of Scorpion. And yeah, Scorpion here looks, looks mean. Um, I actually like, uh, which one do I like better? Um, Scorpion in, in 10 or Scorpion in 11? I can't remember, I, I don't know, but look at that. That's, that's awesome. That is so cool. Oh, by the way, who's my favorite character in uh, Mortal Kombat? Sub-Zero, unfortunately. I, I like using Scorpion as well, but I don't know, I gravitated uh, more towards Sub-Zero for some reason. Um, anyway, uh, there's the back, right? So, the Collector's Edition, and Collector's is spelt with a K, you know, because Mortal Kombat. Um, there we are, there. So, we got a couple of things. We get the hand-painted uh, Scorpion statue, 28 centimeters high, exclusive steel pack and steel card. Mortal Kombat X Blood Tides comic book volume 1 uh, Gold Scorpion skin and Goro playable character right, And that's uh, that's what you get there uh, Character variations, finish hymns and cinematic story modes etc And those are the um, the details down here Okay, and that's what the uh, contents look like Alright, so that is the sleeve Okay, now let's take a look at the box itself So the box itself, it is obviously Scorpion themed So um, there's a front, uh, yes there's a front one side you get Scorpion, and uh, the other side also you get Scorpion. Uh, battle, I would say, what is that, Battle Damage Scorpion? Uh, you can see here, the, uh, you know, if you compare that to the sleeve, uh, there it is, put the sleeve side by side, you can see um, this one is, uh, you know, Normal Scorpion, and this is uh, Damaged Scorpion. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, yeah, so, they're all, they all look the same, uh, essentially, right? But uh, to open it, all you gotta do is uh, on top here, lift this flap up. Yep. And let's take a look at the contents, starting with the game itself, which is inside of a steel case. So uh, I'm gonna take this up here. There we go. And there it is Mortal Kombat X with Scorpion on the front. Now, um, it is shiny. Uh, it's got a shiny coat to it. Um, this is matte, of course. Uh, there's the back there. All right, as you can see. And inside, uh, we get a couple of things, actually. Um, here we are. So, the first thing is, obviously, the PS4 uh, disc. And, this, you know, Mortal Kombat X is for the PS4. And you also get this Mortal Kombat X collector, collector's edition. Um, this is probably the certificate of authenticity, uh, as I like to call it. 
Uh, so there it is. It's number 58,838 out of 70,000. And it is a metal card. So uh, here it is. Let's uh, take that out. There it is. It's it's brushed metal. Uh, you can, can you see the brush? Yeah, yeah. And there is uh, the back, and it is metal, right? And it basically just sits on on the side, just like that. So that that's that's cool. Uh, what else do you get? Ah, okay. The the booklets. Now, yeah, again, the booklets. Uh, nothing much here to see. It's it's a thin thin booklet. Um, Scorpion again on the front. Uh, you also get here. The uh, usual in user safety, blah blah, and two pages of notes, and that's it, really. So yeah, really sad. Uh, you also get the um, this is the combat pack flyer. Right there we are, and there we are. And uh, you also get here the code to get uh, Goro as a playable character. Codes on the back, of course. And the gold scorpion skin. Okay, so those are the um, the two DLCs, uh, DLC codes that you get inside of uh, of the seal case. Inside the yeah, inside the seal case. Next, we have the comic book. Now the comic book is in here somewhere. Here it is. Let me just take that out for you. And here we are. Blood Ties Collector's Edition comic with the iconic line, get over here. Okay, there's the back, very nice. So let's take a look at the comic itself. Uh, first page, now I'm going to try and uh, show you this as much as I can. There is the first page. Okay, let's uh, take a closer look at that. There you see Kenshi. And then the second page. Oh, took an arrow to the knee. I, to be honest with you, I thought that was Kano, but it's actually Su Hao. Whoever that is. And yeah, here comes Scorpion. Typical Mortal Kombat comic. It is a bit, it is bloody, not a bit bloody, it is bloody. And then there's We're almost there, three more pages. And there's Sub-Zero. And there we are. We're almost there. And Kano. And there's the last page showing Raiden. All right. Uh, yeah, I think the um, the next, uh, the second, uh, well, yeah, this is volume one, volume two and, and, and so forth. It's available uh, in digital form. All right. There we go. Okay, so that is the comic book. Now, finally, we have the scorpion statue. So let me take that out for you. A few minutes later. Right, so here it is, the scorpion statue, right? Uh, now, I've, as far as I can remember, I have never taken this out of the box. So this will be the first time. Uh, so let's take it out. Here it is, the scorpion statue. Look at that. Let's, let's take a closer look at this. Um, there's Scorpion. 
the details are amazing in this, I have to tell you. Amazing. Hopefully you can see his face. There we are. Right, and uh, there's the, the, the base, Mortal Kombat X, there we are. This is actually rubbered, um, this Mortal Kombat X, that's actually rubber, because uh, you can feel it. And uh, yeah, the bottom just has, you know, just has that, really. But uh, yeah, statue, it's, it's very, yeah, very nicely done, I, I love it. But um, yeah, unfortunately I don't have the space to, um, uh, to, to put it. So it stays in the box. That is my Mortal Kombat X Collector's Edition. My final Collector's Edition is for... Or, should I say, is called Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate Collector's Edition for the PS5. This box is so big, it's, uh... Yes, it's, 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 it's big. It's, it's, uh, it's high and it's big. It's, I have, I have trouble um, putting this away, to be honest with you. But look, it, it's huge. Now, if you want to know how big this is, I'll show you this. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a, a PlayStation controller near it. But remember the Mortal Kombat 10 um, steel case? This is how big it is. There, you can see. Uh, I'll put it side by side, put it in front. That's how, that's how big it is. It's huge. Let's start with the, uh, with the sleeve first. Well, it comes with a sleeve, as you can see here. So I'm going to take this off, and I'm going to show you the sleeve. So, here we are. Come on. There we go. There is the sleeve. Um, yeah, Collector's Edition uh, includes Mortal Kombat 11, the game. Uh, obviously, this is way back in the days where um, you, can, you actually get a game with uh, a Collector's Edition like this. I, I cannot remember how much I spent on this. I'm pretty sure it's on, on, it's near the five six hundred New Zealand dollars, but um, there it is, definitive experience. You got you can play as Robocop, Rain, uh, Melina, Rambo, and good old Terminator. And uh, yeah, inside, uh, that's what you get. You get the game itself, uh, an exclusive DLC, Avalanche uh, Sub Zero. You get a steel case uh, with a with a die cut magnet. Uh, this I haven't opened, so I don't know what this actually looks like. And this also I haven't opened. I've seen it. Um, I've, I've taken off the mold, but I haven't taken it out. But you get a one-to-one -one scale Sub-Zero mask, uh, measuring at 35 by 18 by 21 centimeters. And also you get Combat Pack 1, Combat Pack 2, etc. And Certificate of Authenticity. All right, but there it is. There is the sleeve. Now, let's uh, take a look at the box itself. Um, here it is. There's, here's a huge box um, showing you Sub-Zero there. All right. Uh, Come out 11 on one side and another sub zero on the back. Yeah. Okay, so let's open this up. Now, to open this up, all you gotta do is uh, pull down this flap here, just like that, and then lift the uh, lid. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to put this on the side because uh, this is gonna be annoying to do. So, the inside, actually, I'm gonna show you this first before I forget. That is what it looks like on the inside. Hopefully, you can see that. There it is. And if I pull this up, uh, this sits on its own um, place. So I'm going to pull this down, and then we're going to get to the um, uh, the statue, uh, the one, the head, uh, a little bit later on. Okay. So first things first, yeah, is the game. Here it is. So you have here the Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate uh, version. Okay. Uh, this one here includes Combat Pack One, Aftermath expansion, and Combat Pack Two. Okay, which uh, normally you have to pay separately, because, you know, of course. And there's a back there. Okay, and if we open it up, uh, we get a couple of things. Uh, number one, there is the PS5 disc. Right, and you, we also get the DLC. Now, um, how am I going to do this? Ah, yeah, sure, of course. So, the first is the DLC for Avalanche Sub-Zero. And then you have the ultimate uh, Time Warriors skin pack. Finally, you have the Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate uh, code. And this, this, basically, by buying this game, you get everything. Everything. Because, of course, you have to. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna buy a game if I'm not gonna get 
everything in the game. Uh, if I still have to buy DLCs for this and that, which, yeah, w which does happen. Anyway, uh, let's take a look at the Certificate of Authenticity, which comes in this middle card down here. All right, so uh, this is what it looks like. There we are, and I've never opened this before. There we go, number 4,647 out of 5,000. And uh, yeah, there's nothing on the back. Uh, it's just, it's metal. All right. And we also get the, this one here, which is the, uh, the steel case. So with the steel case, let me just uh, open this. There we are. And it's got an embossing uh, of the uh, dragon in the Mortal Kombat um, logo uh, in front. It's got MK11 on the back. Uh, and if we open it up, oh wow, that is pretty cool. Uh, there's the inside, right? So you can put the CD in there or you can put the CD in there and look at this You get the die cut. What was this called again? Magnet or something? Was it die cut magnet? Yeah, die cut magnet. There it is. Uh, so if I take that off. Oh Yes, it is a magnet. Look at that. It's metal There is there it is right. This is cool and there's the magnets um, on the back there, but yeah, that is awesome Look at that um, Wow, that's, that's pretty neat. I can put that on my fridge, uh, right next to my uh, Metal Gear Solid um, 5 magnet. <laughs> but yeah, that is that is cool. So yeah, there it is. There is the steel case. Uh, that's, like I said, first time I've ever opened it. Um, but yeah, it's awesome. As I mentioned before, it's always nice to um, to open these things, you know, to take a look at these things with, um, with other people. Alright, but uh, yeah, here we are. That is the contents. Now, moving on to finally the mask itself. Uh, so like I said, I've only looked at it um, before. So um, yeah, I, I haven't taken the mask out of the plastic uh, wrap or even the foam mold. So, uh, so yeah, so bear with me. A few minutes later. Here we are. Now the good thing about this box here is, is that it actually tells you which is the bottom and which is the top. So you'd know how to position it. So. This being the top, you gotta put it this way. And uh, if I open this up, you will now see. There it is, Sub Hero's helmet. That is awesome indeed. Uh, so look, the gel just went out there. Okay, so let's take this out and then uh, let's see what it looks like um, when it's out of the box. There we go. Alright, uh, okay, let's take it out, shall we? Okay, here it is. Oh, wow, that is massive. Look at that, that's that's very cool. Um, that's uh, leathery-like. Um, it's got a, it's got a Mortal Kombat, uh, it's got the dragon logo on the bottom, as you can see there. Uh, it, oh, it says, on the back, it says Mortal Kombat. Um, there it is, Mortal Kombat. One and then one combat. Um, oh man, I wish I can open this up and actually wear it, but that is cool. Uh, from up top here, it looks like a football, <laughs> but uh, it's not, it's the top of his head. But yeah, there's a mask there, and this is, um, what is that? It's, a, it's uh, like a rubbery. Yeah, it's, I guess it's rubber that made that that's made to look like uh, leather. But yeah, check out the details on that. That is awesome. But uh, oh man, that's so cool. I think I can wear if I can open this up and cut it open and whatnot. I, I think I'm pretty sure I can wear this. My head's uh, big enough for this. But uh, yeah, look, there it is there is my three copies of the fairly recent Mortal Kombat games for the modern console. Um, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I have. Uh, I'm sure, I'm, yeah, I sure did. Uh, but yeah, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to share. And I'll see you all in the next video. See ya.